This is the video solution to practice problem A that accompanies sample problem 1.9. This problem appears on page 24 of your textbook. In this problem we are given the density of silver in units of grams per milliliter and asked to convert this to kilograms per cubic meter. It looks like this problem will require a minimum of two conversion factors. One, to convert our mass from grams to kilograms, and then another to convert our volume from cubic centimeters to cubic meters. So we have our plan, grams to kilograms and cubic centimeters to cubic meters. We'll begin with the given density. The unit of volume is in the denominator of this value. 10.5 grams occupy a volume of 1 cubic centimeter. Putting that volume in that denominator is going to be really important as a first step in setting up this problem correctly. It's going to guide how we uh, cancel our volume units. But let's work with the mass first. Based on the values in the exam information sheet, we can find that the relationship between grams and kilograms is that one kilogram is equivalent to 10 to the third grams. We want the grams to cancel, so we can place the values from this equality into our conversion factor as follows. Our units of grams cancel and we're left with kilograms as the unit in the numerator. Now let's look at the volume conversion. According to the exam information sheet, the relationship between centimeters and meters is that one centimeter is equivalent to 10 to the negative 2 meters. Placing these values into our solution correctly means that we must have centimeters in the numerator and meters in the denominator. This doesn't completely solve the problem though. Our starting volume unit was centimeters cubed. That's the same as centimeters times centimeters times centimeters. And if we're going to successfully cancel all of these centimeters, which we need to do, then we'll need to use the same conversion factor that we've just shown two more times. This will allow us to cancel all of the centimeters and actually does leave us with meters times meters times meters or cubic meters in our denominator. As we think about this, we're going to have to take into account the fact that the 10 to the negative 2 is in that denominator not just once, but it is cubed. There's an easier way to, actually, to accurately show this process. If we look at the volume conversion and say to ourselves, this whole conversion factor needs to be multiplied by itself three times, that's the same as saying that the conversion factor itself needs to be raised to the third power. And we would show that in a very straightforward way like this, raising the conversion factor to the third power. This means that the units and the numerical values and everything that's in that set of parentheses is raised to the third power. Our units, with the exception of kilograms and meters cubed, will cancel and now we're ready for the calculator. The calculation itself can be broken down into a couple of parts. We can look at just the values in the numerators first and decide that the numerator will be 10.5 kilograms. That came from 10.5 here times 1 times 1. All of the units except for kilograms cancel. The denominator will be 10 to the third times 10 to the negative 2 cubed. This value is actually 10 to the negative third and the units are meters cubed. 
Remember that these two parts of the denominator are actually 10 to the third times 10 to the negative 2 times 10 to the negative 2 times 10 to the negative 2. That's where we get the value 10 to the negative third on this side. Now we'll actually divide the numerator, 10.5 kilograms, by 10 to the negative third cubic meters, and we'll find a solution of 10.5 times 10 to the third kilograms per cubic meter. Let's check our significant figures. Our initial value was measured to three significant figures and we used only equalities that were true by definition to solve that problem with multiplication and division as our mathematical processes. So we should have three significant figures in our final solution. The final answer itself could be perfected though. It could be written in standard scientific notation, which would make the answer 1.05 times 10 to the fourth kilograms per cubic meter. At this time, you should take a look at practice problem B in this group. Solve it and check your answer with the key on page 33 of the text. Remember to get in the habit of showing your work, including the units throughout these problems, and round your answer to the correct number of significant figures once the problem is complete. This is the best way to prepare for exams.